Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about our third question. This question is about a most important frequently asked topic in the interviews. And this is what is an N plus 1 query. In this video, we will understand that what an N plus 1 query is and uh, how we can resolve the N plus 1 query problem. And we will see this by some example. Uh, I will just divide it into these three parts because uh, uh, there might be chances that interviewer might might ask you that what an N plus 1 query is and how you can resolve it. And if, when you <laughs> answer these parts, then they will uh, ask you that uh, please implement it or give it uh, by some example. So we will consider all three probabilities here. So let's first understand what is N plus 1 query problem. So N plus 1 query problem is one of the common performance anti-patterns in ORM. It happens when a query is executed on its result of the previous query. In other words, we can say that when an application gets data from the database and then loop through the result of the data. N plus 1 query can be OK, but only when your application is very small and there are a very few resources which requires only a small number of requests and queries but if you want to keep your application scalable you have to eliminate the n plus one query from your application now let's try to understand n plus one query problem by some example consider you have two different models book and author where Every author has many books and every book belongs to, must belongs to some author. So we can uh, consider that there is a one to many relationship between book and author model here. So one author has many books and every book has one author. So we can see this. Now in generally, what we do if we try to fetch all the books that this is the general approach like uh, loading all the books and then loop through these and uh, perform the operation uh, on the book itself or on the author of the book it's uh, author of the book so this piece of code you are seeing on the screen this will cause the n plus one query problem like just see in this screenshot so as per the screenshot when you try to run this code book.all.isdo book and then puts book author.name it will run n plus one query problem why because it runs one query for loading all the books and then n queries to get author of every book so suppose there are n number of books then you require one query to load all the books and n queries n queries to load the author of every single book now let's see this in example suppose let's uh, run our console i'm already running this so suppose this is our code book dot all dot h2 you can run here like book and then puts book dot author dot name make sure that you have if you are trying this example then make sure that your author must have a name attribute okay and if you have different attributes with different model then you can perform just like that now when i submit this query you can clearly see that how many queries i have i am running here okay so you can see that i am still scrolling I'm still scrolling why because it has taken only one query for loading all the books but it requires n queries to load all the authors okay so this is the n this is called the n plus one query problem now we need to understand that what is the solution of n plus one query so simply eager loading is the solution of n plus one query okay now we need to understand that what is eager loading. 
So eager loading is the process whereby a query loads a resource as soon as the code is executed. It also loads related entities as part of the query. In Rails, we can use includes method for eager loading purpose. The includes method specifies relationships to be included in the result set. Just like this. We just need to replace the all method by includes and then mention the parent model name in that. Okay. And now this will, this will only run two queries. One for loading all the books and one query for loading all the authors. Now, and you will see output something like this. Okay. Now let's try to run it. Book dot includes. author oh, sorry not all dot h do oops book dot author dot name and now when you run it you can see that these are all the authors names I printed all right run my puts command now you can see that we using this we are only running two queries one for loading all the books and one for loading all the authors so this is the power of eager loading or this is the power of include that we can use to avoid uh, n plus one query problems okay and you can clearly see here that we are just running two queries and so this makes your application more faster now we have try we have executed this on the rails console now let's try with the rails server as well so this is my books index page so let's see this one by one now you can see i am what the attributes i'm getting here the title author isbn number and the other actions so when i reload the page what i will see that this will run n plus one query so many queries are running here why because right now in my books controller i have written books equal to book dot all so that's why it is running this number of queries but when i will change this book dot all to book dot include author now when I refresh my page I'll see only two queries still the result is same so now you can see that how fast my queries are and how less number of queries I'm running here so this is the power of uh, eager loading and resolving n plus n query problems so uh, one can uh, easily uh, start practicing by writing book dot all and then uh, fetching all the authors of the book inside uh, the loop but uh, uh, over the time when you uh, keep implementing another resources and features then it will become cumbersome and uh, very hard for your application to perform faster so if you can start writing uh, the eager, load, eager loaded queries or writing the includes queries when you have to uh, fetch the associated data then it will be better to resolve the n plus one queries okay so this is the answer of this question there is one more type of loading the data that is lazy loading and that i will explain in upcoming videos and in those videos i will also uh, state the difference between eager loading and lazy loading but till then thanks for watching this and now i really hope that you have some uh, you got some uh, idea about n plus one queries and how we can resolve that and what is the importance of removing n plus one queries from our applications so let's meet in the next lecture till then have a great day thanks for watching this and We'll see you in next video.